Right, a few weeks ago, we told you about the Fort Hood podcast, a new way soldiers on Fort Hood could get information. Well, this week they are tackling the coronavirus. Yep, 6 News reporter Cole Johnson joins us to deep dive into what officials are saying about the virus and how preparations going on post. Cole. Chris and Leslie, the podcast is run through the Public Affairs Office. On the podcast, there were Colonel Jeffrey Yarvis, who is the deputy commanding officer of the Carl R. Darnell Army Medical Center, and Colonel Stephen Finder, who's the public health doctor with three Corps. They ask the questions not only soldiers may have, but questions though who live near post have as well. For instance, if you are ever concerned about soldiers returning from South Korea in the middle of all the coronavirus developments, here are some answers. Before boarding planes, there were in-depth screens. Soldiers were also screened when they arrived in the States. If there were any complications, the plane was to rush them to the hospital. Fortunately, to this point, there haven't been any. They said a lot of action is being taken, like training at the hospital, and says the government is taking the threat seriously really important for the public to understand, just like we would train for an active shooter situation or we would train for a mass casualty situation, that sure. we do these things so that we can protect the public when ultimately we're faced with uh, a pandemic situation or a severe crisis. And I just want to say again, we are not at that, but uh, Carl R. Darnell stands ready to do that. And uh, I feel very confident as one of the leaders in the organization that we're prepared for that. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. They covered a lot of topics and addressed many concerns. And we also got a statement from Colonel Jason Westbrock, U.S. Army Garrison Fort Hood commander, saying in part, estimates are the current threat to public health and risk of exposure to the virus is low. Fort Hood leadership continues to prioritize the health and safety of our military, civilians, and family members. And we're going to have more on this coming up tonight at 10. Guys.